welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about the Kodali French Favorites Kit. But before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell on the side so you can be notified when I post a new video. So I picked this up a few months ago on the Sephora.ca website. This is part of their Sephora Points Rewards program. I am quite certain that this kit in particular is no longer available. However, each item that is in the kit is still available for sale and they have kits available for sale on the website as well. And I'm quite certain that at some point they will have more samples of Kodali in the rewards program as well. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna talk you through each item in the kit, talk about their claims, and give you my review on them. I have my laptop here open on the side so I can read you through some of the claims and ingredients, etc. So I thought I would start off by talking about the brand Caudalie itself. This is a French skincare brand. They are free of parabens, mineral oils, paraffin, uh, phthalates, as well as SLS, which are sodium lauryl sulfates. These are all preservatives that a lot of people don't really like, so they don't use them. On the website, it also says they, they do not have animal-derived raw ingredients. I'm not exactly sure what that technicality means in the wording, because it says specifically that they don't have animal-derived raw ingredients. Does that mean that they have other ones? I checked, and I could not find a vegan or cruelty-free certification on the brand. So if you are someone who um, values vegan and cruelty-free skincare, I would say do your research on this brand before you buy anything. On the website, it also says that they are against animal testing, but like I mentioned, I could not find like the actual certification, so just be wary. It is also stated on the website that they favor natural and environmentally friendly and active ingredients. Some of their ingredients are organic and some of them are fair trade. I do not think that every ingredient is organic and fair trade. So again, if this is something that concerns you, make sure to do your research first. So let's go ahead and talk through the products that I actually tried. So in the kit, you have the cleanser. This is the Instant Foaming Cleanser. You have the Vinyl Perfect Concentrated Brightening Essence. You have the Vinyl Source SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. The Vinyl Source Moisturizing Sorbet. And you also have the Vine Active Energizing and Smoothing Eye Cream. So this foaming cleanser is stated to be a natural soap-free foaming cleanser packed with antioxidants to gently cleanse, purify, and soften the skin. Solutions for dryness, dullness, and uneven texture. So I have been using this, and I have been using this as a makeup remover. So obviously this will not remove eye makeup. So what I've been doing is with a cotton pad, like removing my eye makeup, and then going in with this twice, like doing a double cleanse, and this, takes off all of this makeup, like a full face of makeup, this will take off. So usually I'll do like two pumps, rinse, like wash, rinse, and then I'll do a second, like double, like two pumps and then double cleanse. And this will actually remove all of my makeup. I don't know how, but this is actually like a really great cleanser. And oh, I should also specify that I have normal to dehydrated skin. Sometimes I say dry skin, but really it's dehydrated. So my skin is lacking water and moisture. So when I'm using this, it removes all of my makeup, but does not make my skin feel dry. It doesn't feel dry, it doesn't feel tight. It somehow just cleans everything off and still feels nice and refreshed. So overall, I think this cleanser is definitely worth it. So the price on the Sephora website is $34 Canadian. So this size that I have here is like the travel format. This is 50 ml and it is $17 on the website. But if you buy the larger format, the 150 ml, that is $34. Honestly, if I were to buy this, I would just buy the bigger format because I think it is definitely worth it. It works really well. It's very effective at removing all of my makeup, but it's very gentle. It's not drying. I think this is 100% worth the purchase. Okay, so next up in the kit is my least favorite item in the entire kit. This is the Vino Perfect Glycolic Brightening Essence. I think I need someone to really explain to me what an essence is because sometimes when I read the explanations, they honestly just sound like a toner. So you're supposed to use this after a toner and you're supposed to apply it with your fingertips all over your face and then you have to follow with your serum, etc. But like, I honestly saw zero difference with or without this product. The claims on this are a natural brightening essence powered by glycolic acid to sweep away dead skin cells and organic grape water to hydrate revealing brighter, smoother, and more even skin. 
Honestly, this did nothing. Like I saw no results, no difference. I think I'm just really not convinced that an essence is necessary. I already have so many steps in my skincare. I mean, if I saw a difference, I think I would be convinced to use it to purchase it. But this, if you were to purchase it, the full size, the 150 ml is $50. And like, I saw no results and no difference. So there's no way I'm gonna buy this at full price. That's just my opinion. And also, before I forget, this entire skincare line has a really nice scent. You know how like how a grape you know how a grape tastes like the taste of a grape, not like the grape candy or artificial flavor, but like a fresh grape. The taste is how this smells. It smells very light and fresh and refreshing. Um, I'm not someone who is bothered by scents in my skincare. If you are someone who is like hypersensitive and really doesn't like scents, maybe just test these out before you purchase them. But for me, I find it quite pleasant. For me, the scent just adds to my experience. It's not something that I feel is overpowering. Next up, we have the Vinyl Perfect Radiance Serum. So this is a milky lightweight serum. It's not heavy whatsoever. So it's very light, but it's also very hydrating. I actually quite like this serum. It almost feels like if a gel cream was just like fluid. So this is oil free and is stated to be for all skin types. Like I said, my skin is dehydrated, so I quite enjoy this. However, I think in the winter times when it's a bit harsher and more cold out, I think I would reach for something a bit more intense, more hydrating. I think this might even be suitable for someone who has breakouts but still has dry patches because it isn't very heavy, it isn't oily, it's just like a nice like wash of hydration. So this serum only has one size, but it, it doesn't say like how many milliliters is in it, but it is $89, which is kind of expensive, but if you are on the fence about trying this, I do think that it is worth it. It is very effective. Next up, we have the Vinosource Moisturizing Sorbet. This is their best-selling oil-free, ultra-lightweight, soothing and hydrating gel cream. It claims to be a solution for dryness, dullness and uneven texture, fine lines and wrinkles. I actually quite like this moisturizer. It is more of a gel cream texture, so it is quite light. I do feel like I need the serum underneath it to give me all the moisture that I want. This is fine for me in the summer, it's quite nice, but in the winter, I don't think I would love like either one of these. I think I would honestly need something a bit more hydrating, a bit more nourishing, but that's just me. I like that nourishing feeling on my skin. As is, this is a great product. This is also supposed to be for sensitive skin. I do not have hyper reactive or sensitive skin, so I can't tell you how that would work on that skin type. If you have hyper reactive skin, as a precaution, get a sample and just do like a little patch test just to check it out before you put it all over your face. So the standard size of the moisturizer is 40 ml and it is $48. That to me seems a bit more reasonable than the serum, but yeah, I do like this cream. It's very nice. It's better for me in the summer, but if you have even like oily skin, maybe you like this because it's not super heavy. And yeah, I think it's a great moisturizer. And last but not least, we have the Vine Active Energizing Vitamin C Eye Cream. This claims to be a anti-wrinkle eye treatment to combat fine lines, puffiness, and dehydration. Solution for dark circles, puffiness, fine lines, and wrinkles. I cannot say that this has erased every fine line, every dark circle, you know, that's quite a claim, but as an eye cream, it's actually quite nice. I quite like this as an eye cream. It feels very nourishing to the delicate eye area, but it absorbs into the skin very fast because I've had issues buying more rich and nourishing eye creams that just kind of feel like they sit on top of the skin. This eye cream just like absorbs into the skin really fast. And in my mind, that to me means it's working better because when they just like sit on top of the skin, I feel like they're not really acting and like really hydrating. But this, like when you tap it into the skin, they really you can really just see it like kind of like melting into the skin. I don't think it necessarily like helped get rid of fine lines and dark circles, etc. But just as a hydrating eye cream, I do quite like this. The sample is five milliliters and the full size item is 15 milliliters at $47 Canadian. I think out of the whole kit, I would go ahead and repurchase these two the fastest for me because I just think that like you get your money's worth with both of these the most. After that, I would recommend also the moisturizer and the serum again. The only item that I would not touch with a 10 foot pole is the essence. I didn't see a difference. I don't believe in it. I would not buy it. So 
that's just me and my opinion. So that's about it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys found this video informative. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried any Kodali skincare products and which ones are your favorites. Also, if you are using an essence at home with your skincare, please let me know down in the comments what you're using and how you're using it. Maybe I'm just not using it right, I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Please make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. And I think that's all I have for you guys for today. So let me know down in the comments which reviews or tutorials you would like to see next. And I'll see you guys next time, bye.